It's Michael Irvin, Playmaker is with us. What, what you doing, Mike? You all right? Hey, Amen. Praying. praying. <laughs> oh, praying. Thank you, God, for that right there. That's what that was. That was a prayer. And I thank the Lord for that right there. Absolutely. That was great right there, guys. That's what I, I, I've been talking about this. I've been talking about the importance of those, that relationship. I love what he said right there. He took accountability. I, I, I told you guys, I, I felt he was frustrated in that game, and he mm -hmm. talked about it. And a lot of times, I'm going to tell you what, 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 why I'm so happy with this. I always talk about the Cowboys have the talent. They have the skill set. It's not about skill with them. It's about a collective will. That's why they lose those playoff games. And, and a collective will can only be built a few ways. It can be built by spending time together on the football field, practicing while you're talking through your plans for the season together. We missed that opportunity because he held out of camp all, all, all camp. But it can also be born in the midst of a lot of pain that everybody's feeling. Mm -hmm. Because everybody starts feeling that pain and saying, man, this is not what we're supposed to be. This is not what we thought we would be. And then everybody starts listening. And I believe they're starting to listen. More importantly than anybody, listen to each other. You got to start talking with each other. You can't just step on a football field in the NFL and think you're going to beat these other guys who's been together for months now and only talking football, and you've not been together, and both, and everybody's talking money. So I'm glad to hear him say, man, we got to get this back on track. We have messed this up. Do you like that? Yeah, track? I do. You know, as a leader of this team, and, and I've been a leader on teams, and when you hold yourself accountable, uh, that's a part of growth right, right. there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you can't, it's hard, you know, when you, you're frustrated and losing and you let your emotions get the best of you, but... You know, he's not playing to the expectations that he played with last year up until this point. Because, you know, when you look at CD statistically, he, he's one of the best in the league. Right now, he's not even close statistically. And you're losing. And so it can be frustrating. I get it. That's what sports is. You get frustrated. The, the highs and lows of every day, the highs and lows of every week. And so I like the fact that he came out, owned it, and now you can move on and play some football. Right. Key? Okay. Like I'm, the, I'm, the I'm fine with his, I'm fine with his apology. I don't think it was necessarily needed publicly. You could talk to I could talk to my quarterback and my teammates, but what happens in this business, as we know, as an athlete, you especially now, social media, uh, television cameras everywhere, we're covered everything that we do, and when you sit up and you see a Michael Irvin talking about it, or you see other great players right. that talk about it and say that's probably not the way to handle it. Mm -hmm. You feel the need, okay, well then I need to address it to calm them down too. Opposed to just talking to your teammates and talking to your quarterback and letting them know it's all good. Cause I didn't have the same situations happen as a player with me and quarterbacks and, and, and coaches and whatnot, but I don't need to address the public cause I'm not, I don't care about what the public perception of it is. All I care about is the people in the locker room. If the people in the locker room are listening to me mm -hmm. and, and my apology and they appreciate it and they accept it, of my behavior, then they know what type of player I am opposed to trying to prove something to the audience. You see what I'm saying? But I don't think he needed to do that. Different, oh, I understand that. Different. I yeah. totally understand yeah. that. You going, you going at it with Gruden in Tampa is a lot different than him going at it with, with, with Dak on the sideline. Well, that was a different and, situation. Right, right, right. right. In, in, yeah, in, in, in the Joy eye loves gates. That. <laughs> the eye gates that are on it and the mouth gates that are talking about it is magnified because the star that's on the side of their helmet. Mm -hmm. And he knows that. I, sometimes, though, you know, you, Paul, you were talking about, you get in a game and you're just so focused in on the game and trying to make it work and trying to make things go right that you don't even know that you're acting that way yeah, for until sure. you get home. Right. And you right. start, and you look at it on, it's like, man, what's, oh my God. And, and, and right. it, it even hurts even more watching it, watching it. So I'm hoping that's the route that he saw and said, oh my God, I'm a leader of this team. When he, had, when he called me years ago and talked about wearing that 88, and I said to him, I said, hey, he said, I just want to reach out to you, you know, because he really wanted to wear number two. You know, he, he loved uh, D Hop. And he really wanted to wear number two. And I said to him, you wear what makes you go every morning. If that's what you need to get up in the morning, you put on that number two. But when you understand, but understand when you put on that 88, it brings hope to a whole region. 
Every time they see 88, they expect winning, they're expecting great plays. And if that pressure's too much, go where to? <laughs> so he like 80, or, or, or 81 or something. He huh? knows the pressure comes with it, and he has to be able to handle yeah. that pressure like and deal yeah, I'm, I'm, like, like I said, I'm fine with his apology. I just don't think it was necessary yeah, to have to do it. Yeah, the reason I don't it's need necessary, it key, is because it's just. I'm talking to my teammates. I don't need yeah, to talk yeah, to everybody this else. Is the, this is why it's necessary, because there it's one go. less Keith. question. Stop, Keith. Like, I got to answer stop. to the media. Stop, stop, stop. You know? Come on, it's one less question I have to talk about in the media. Right, right. And thank you, Paul. You and you I'm close saying? it down you close right it down now. Right now. Right now. You, Paul, that's great. I appreciate you, know you Paul. You know that's what? Coming in. And swing. <laughs> right, because <laughs> and, now and we're the focus on football. They're going to talk about it all yeah. day, every day. You can't move yeah. forward. They got to right. nick it in the bud by talking to everybody. There is no way to I wish Michael would step up to the plate like this, too. You know, yeah. Michael will own it, too, because him being the leader of the team, I think he should come out with something like but this. But who's to say CD's not owning it if he's just dealing with his teammate? Well, because well, it's, 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 it's a story. Just it's let it's him story. It's going to be a story anyway. Every, everything right. is a story. We just we talked about Zach right. not talking to the media. It's going to be a story anyway. Story. Yeah. Yeah. We know that they're they're having a lot of conversations internally. They're arguing on the sidelines. Man, come you know. on, man. You know this man there. gotta get it right. That's his quarterback. He can get away with that before social media. You right. know, you now that we have all the you can start to get away with it. I have, have no problem with the apology. I just would prefer him to talk to his teammates and not have he to address it and not he have to address it. I guess I just don't think people. I know Michael feels very strongly about these interactions. I don't really look at these ever as a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I know like emotions are kind of a thing that we're still trying to sort out how we feel about, but I think it's okay to be emotional. You know, right. when you're competing. Right. And especially, I would rather see somebody show frustration than indifference. Now, perhaps there's some space in the middle, but yeah. when athletes are emotional and they're emotional towards their teammates and they're losing and, they're, and then they're, you see that passion, that to me is not a negative thing. But no. you just don't like seeing it between... But emotions are also another way of saying loss of control. Let me give it to you. Let me give it to you. Okay. When I say something to you that's funny, it's not a decision to laugh. You just laugh. Right. Right? When I say something that hurts your feelings, you don't say, hey, Paul, did that hurt your feelings? Hurt my feelings. We should cry. It's not a decision. You just cry. So when you get out here and you start sharing all of these <clears throat> emotions, you go sometime too far. I don't mind the emotions. Mm -hmm. But when you're stopped listening about the next play and the next series, mm -hmm. and yeah, about it affects the, then, 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 then yeah. we got a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Because now what we didn't have, it wasn't just the emotions. It was where it led to. Too, a loss of control. I don't even want to hear what you got to say. We're walking away from each other. We're not talking. Now, how can we go get better yeah. if we're not correcting that issue? So I want, I want to, yeah, I like what he did. Yeah, like dressing he did. it head on. He so they should, they should, they should, they should. Key, stop with that mess. What does that mean? <laughs> so they should win, they should win going away tomorrow. Because this is corrected. Well, well, they corrected what they need to correct inside the house. Now they're going so to try to So there shouldn't be any put... problems. See, here you go again. You know, you know <laughs> what I'm going to say against that? You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Hey. Here you go again. Hey. Hey. You want to always <laughs> take that and make that all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, make, I'm asking you, they have a lifelong Dallas win. Cowboy. They have a chance to win now. Before not talking, they got no chance. Yeah. That's what I pray about. Thank you, Father. So let me ask you this question. We got a chance. Michael, 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 let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, though, Michael, because you talk to everybody in the building all the time, and you there, and boom, boom, boom. So they talked during Cleveland. It was all good. They won. So there was some problems then. They was having problems against the Saints. They never talked. They was mad at each other, so they lost. And that's the same thing that just happened in this past game against the Ravens. So they fixed it. So my question to you would be, since they fixed it, we shouldn't see no more L's coming down the pipeline because they fixed that. Well, I mean... Y'all see what this dude doing. Yeah. <laughs> I think they have more problems than just CD and... It, 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 wait, wait, wait. Stop. Today is victory. Mm -hmm. The man stepped up, stood up... I'm just asking. Right, ...and said what he need to say. Now, Key gonna put it on the rest of the year. Now y'all gonna go undefeated. We ain't got. We ain't talking about that. But we that's the way you. Like the man no, what they doing is clearing up the, that's that's clearing up the clutter in the locker room. Way. Right. You can't win if there's clutter in the locker room. Let's get rid of the clutter. So, okay. so whether we win or lose, at least we don't have the clutter oh, in the locker room. We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll see what happens on the field. But the first thing, Paul, was getting rid of that clutter. So you got rid of the clutter. So it shouldn't be no more. Don't try to take it no farther than that. Are you worried about the Cowboys? Don't try to take it no farther than that. Well, are you worried about the Cowboys tomorrow night? Because they got a big game against the Giants. <laughs> on the road, short week, Dak's not talking to the media. 
CD is apologizing for interactions on the sideline. sideline. Yeah. Are you worried about the Cowboys tomorrow night, Michael? Well, I'm not going to worry about the offense. I'll always worry about that defense stopping the run, but mm -hmm. I got help coming now. If I got these two on pace and they can do what they know how to do, if they can drop in 30, 35 points, I'm good. I don't see the Giants coming up with that. You see what I'm saying? So my <laughs> concerns have been lifted. <laughs> Just like a dove off the shoulder. I always say this. And I'll see what happens. I always say this about losing night. teams. You should be worried about everybody. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you, you go in worried scared and everybody. worried about everybody. Yeah, for sure. But 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 I got me a better feeling about tomorrow night because uh, because of what he's uh, what he's how he's addressed the team, addressed the media, so the whole team can hear it. Well, Key, you have the you think about that, Key. What about if you talk to them? What about I thought about? Well, you talk to a few teammates, but everybody doesn't get it. How you go? But my problem ain't with my teammates. My problem is with my quarterback. That's the problem. Yeah, but I'm, I got to lead the whole team. So if they know me, but, 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 if they know but, 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 me and my quarterback the whole team. is on the I same page, I can't just lead good. the quarterback. I need the rest of the team. But I got to lead follow. them too. They can now, watch. But they, they they're, they're not going to follow <laughs> if they know I'm not stepping up as a leader. Right. Then I lose the ability to lead that team if I am not doing leader tip, leadership type stuff. And me not stepping up when I was wrong, that I, I dropped the pass, I fumbled the ball. Preach. If I don't step up and say Preach. that I was wrong, I got I got frustrated. Now I void my ability to lead that team. Hey, man, 88 did that. what he needed to do. He did what Preach. 88s do. Preach, amen. I appreciate amen. That. Amen. Don't tell her. I tell her. Whatever, whatever you do, whatever you do, <laughs> tell her. Don't need it. Why are you crazy? Preach to him. Get him started. <laughs> Amen. At the end of the top, man, at the end of the day, <laughs> preaching right there. Dude, give me kidney shots. At the end of the day, if you go a scale of one to ten in, in, in my worry meter for the Cowboys, it's a five. I think they handle business, but it could go the other way. Because, like Michael said, offensively, look. Yeah. CeeDee Lamb fumbled. He dropped the football. Emotions run high. You got to erase the negative and concentrate on what can be positive. And that's what he's trying to do. He can't help the defensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball, like Michael said, you got to figure that out. You got to figure out how to stop the run. Then you got the young kid in Malik Neighbors who all of a sudden has emerged as one of the young top rookies that we've seen right before our eyes. Mm -hmm. How do you stop that? How do you stop that so you don't go down on three straight losses? Because the Giants, they don't care about 50 to nothing a year ago. They care about building off their win from a year, from a week ago. Right. That could be the Cowboys' problem. If they walk in there looking at, oh, we beat them all the time. What is it, 13 in a row? 12 in a row? Something? Yeah, they're 0-4 against the Cowboys under Dayball. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, under Dayball, but <laughs> if you that. go before, before that, that, that's... Daniel Jones has won a, won a 12 six against in a the row. Cowboys in his career. Yeah, 12 yeah. in a row. Yeah. Now, if the Cowboys walk in like these arrogant dudes always doing, these type of guys right here, they're going to get... Oh, I'm well, I mean, I mean Michael could walk around. <laughs> I, I, I think that they should, as Paul said, treat every, every game like a serious game. Absolutely. Like, they if got they, to. If they win this game, you they're going to settle hit. everything down. It's not going to mm -hmm. fix everything, but at least you just settle things for the week. If you lose this game, it's going to be a dumpster fire. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.